All right, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is gonna be called Hot Mess Express. This is a collaboration with Angie. Her name is Wax Goddess on YouTube. She wanted to do a video showing our wax collections like as they are right now. So I felt it was probably pretty appropriate to show this part of the room because I have a lot of wax sitting out right now that doesn't have a home. So that to me signals that I need to do a big like kind of purging and a total like rehaul of this room. Now, what I planned on doing is since my daughter's gonna be moving out to college, she goes with her dad in the summertime. So I'm gonna start moving some things into her closet because her closet area stays really cool and not a lot of sun. Like this room here, I don't know, like if I show you the window here, the window, lets in a lot of sunlight especially during the summertime so it would be better to be in my daughter's room so over here is my it's like the desk i used to keep my computer in here but i don't have one of those big chunky computers anymore i just have a laptop so um i don't know you know eventually i might get rid of this desk um it's still nice like there's nothing wrong with the top of it or anything also too real quick before i forget we are gonna do an after, so you will see like a better collection, wax collection video after. So a lot of this, what's going on here, like I had some craft supplies like there because I had to do some crafts for my daughter the other day. And then that's like my bill box, like not bills, but important papers and things like that. All right, let's just go around the room a little bit. So I have a clothes, or sorry, hanging rack there that is, we used to keep it by the laundry room and then I was like, you know what, I'm tired of seeing this by the laundry room. I just want to put it somewhere else. So I don't know where that's gonna live. It, maybe it'll go somewhere else, I don't know. I have a, from the container store, this storage, this tall thing here is a drawer system from Alpha from the container store. And I wanted, I brought it in here to put wax in it because I thought that would be really convenient, but actually I'm probably gonna put like the art supplies and things out of my closet area so I can put the wax, all the wax in the closet, if that makes sense. So over here, so there is my first like wax storage bin. It's down here, <laughs> right there underneath that table. And so you can see I've got different piles of wax. So you can see in that polka dot container right there, that little bag is like miscellaneous bags, things I've warmed through. On the ground are boxes of hauls and I actually have like five or six more boxes out in the living room because I just filmed some hauls. So um, it's not even, that doesn't even look as bad as it is. And the one box there is actually, the cat has been using it as a bed because she is loving that bathing garden box. I've had it for a couple weeks now and she loves it. I'm afraid to throw it away because I'm afraid she might like rebel. All right, let's move into the first area that I actually kind of have some organization, which is that bin back here. So let's go ahead and I'll try to move you in closer and we can have a look. Okay, so this top shelf to the right is mostly the Empire Alchemy that I have so far, which is not too much. I don't have a lot yet and I haven't put what I do have away. Over here in this side, like all these scent shots over here are Golden Willow Waxes or golden willow wax, however you wanna say that. This next bin here is Rose Girls Pies. I don't love how this is like, well, pies and chunk bags. I don't like how this is set up. Like, I feel like I'm kind of wasting a little bit of room here. Like, I feel like I could get it more, like, I don't know, nicer looking, I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see how I can configure this to make it work better for me. Okay, so down here are my Sassy Girl Aroma bags, clamshells, loaves and that little pot down there. Oh gosh, I can smell the latte coming out of there. <laughs> so I do have a few loaves, like I have Grinders Cafe, an entire loaf of that. I don't know if I need an entire loaf of this, but whatever. Here is more Rose Girls chunks and what else? Chunk bags and some more Sassy Girl Aroma bags. Um, what is in there? Sweet Ocean Breeze. I have a lot of, oh, I have VCS in there as well. VCS Shapes. Some VCS Shapes, so I have that in there. Okay, so the very bottom is VCS. I have some of those, what are those called? 
blossom bars and the loaves. And then to the right, I have Rose Girls. Is it mini melters? Shoot, I don't know. When I come back and do my organized video, I will go in depth on the scents and I will show you like what I have, but I feel like this go around since everything's so messy, we're just gonna go with it. Okay, so this bin here is very interesting. I pulled a lot of scents for fall and I put them all in this bin. And so since I did not get through all these during fall time, they really need to go back into their respective areas. And honestly, I just, I don't know why, like I have um, Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. This is a fall scent. I have some Violet, which is just a regular scent. I need to pull that out, honestly. I have Hazelnut Marshmallow Fluff Lattes. I have some Peppermint stuff. I have some sort of, some sort of Warrens going on in there. So that is a fall bin, and yeah, so basically I did not get through all of my fall stuff. And then so on the lid, <laughs> on the lid I has just been hanging out. And then I have just some stuff that I was gonna de-stash. I have Purple Haze Embed, Strawberry Jackie O Overpour. I don't like the strawberry blends from VCS very much. I have the Mind Reader, which I didn't love. I have Sunday Shop, Jackie O Surrey Cafe. I didn't like Sunday Shop. Coconut Cola, Marzipan Cookies. I didn't love this one. Like I, I had a huge bag of it. I'm just kind of tired of it. It was a sidekick. Grandma Mac and Lancelot and Guinevere. I think this is Juicy Blackberries and Vanilla Lace Type. I didn't love the blackberries. So that was gonna go in a D-stash. Okay, so this is my Super Tarts bin or one of them anyways. This is just clamshells. And like I said, I will go through them more in depth when I do my organizational video, and then a smaller bin down below. I used to have a ton of super tarts. I have gotten through so much super tarts. Like, I'm just like glad, so there's that. All right, should we move up? So I did buy some storage bins, and I did buy the dog a new Ray Dunn bowl. They had them at Marshalls. You can get them fairly inexpensive. If you try to buy them on Macari, they're crazy expensive. This box is a box of Scent and Susie. I don't know why I throw these papers from VCS and I just toss them. I'm like, why don't I just throw them away? <laughs> Over here is a box of what's in here. Rose Girls Mini Melters from probably the last ready to ship thing. And then I just have some cleaning stuff. And so on the floor here, a good example is this brown bin. I have a random Christmas ornament and just random things I need to put away. They just, they sit there and yeah. So Empire Alchemy is in this other box <laughs> that I need to put away. Satin Susie in there. And then if we move up just a little bit, we will see, I keep a, so these little bins right here to the right where you see Ashley Kindergarten. I keep all of my daughter's papers in bins like this. There's like a seven tier thing where I keep all of her like, one thing is like grades for the, like her entire life. And then the other one is like all her pictures. The other one's like dance competition booklets and pictures and discs. And then some other things like random pictures from like all her years of school. So I keep, do keep that in the closet. This next random box is Again, just some things I pulled and then I never put back. Okay, so in this area I have Elfa shelving from the container store. So now this area used to be just kind of like wasted real estate. Sorry, I had to push open the door. So basically what I wanna do is, so I have all of like my VCS bags from Sassy Girl. What else do I have? Sassy Girl and VCS is pretty much what I have here. So basically what I wanna do is I wanna move all of my Sassy Girl that you saw in that other container and I wanna put it in here so I can line it up like, uh, what is it, first in, first out? So like the older stuff forward and the newer stuff towards the back. So I can, you know, set it up on the shelving unit here. So this is a one, two, three, four, five, five shelf system. And it really helps because there was nothing on, like there was nothing to do with that wall 
before, you know, like it was just an empty space, not doing anything unless you were hanging clothes in here, which I don't. So, and then I have some baskets here with, I think those are potion packs and this bottom one here. And then over here is scoops from Rose Girls. And then here I have another random basket and I have a bunch of mailing boxes. Now, this is the little bin that I was talking about. You can kind of see the bin here that I was talking about that holds the sh um, the containers. You can't see it all, but it's hard to get in this closet to be uh, real honest. Okay, let's just move up. Okay, so here is my drawer system. Let's see, it's got five drawers. I've had this thing forever. I had it back in my scrapbooking days. In fact, this housed all of like my scrapbooking stuff. So in here, I just have a random, hopefully you can see in there, I don't know, let me see. So a loaf and some breakaway bars from Sassy Girl. And then back there are some Sassy Girl stuff and then some bags from BCS to hold loaves. The main thing up here is bathing garden. I need to add my new order from bathing garden in here. I have not yet. There is some more. Some more. And then hopefully you can see. <laughs> so that's that. And then on the top I just have a box of like important papers. All right, let's kind of move to the right a little bit here. So I have more boxes. I know I need to really just, I can't handle boxes like they drive me nuts so over here you can see I've got some random bags and you can see I've got a another random box of wax that I need to put away and then in this box here below let me see if I can just move this oh crap okay things are about to get crazy so this is VCS D stash wax I got this a long time ago and I am not really it's like lemon scented so I'm not really using it Okay, so in this bin down below here, I have Bonjour Wax, which is palm wax, which I don't really like. I, I kind of knew that it was bad for the environment, but I just didn't realize. I didn't realize when I bought it. I bought a lot of it, and that was stupid on my part, but what are you going to do? Okay, so I have some cardstock. I was, I did used to be a scrapbooker. What is that back there? Oh, okay, just start a fly thing. Try to make sure I don't show addresses and stuff. I have some arts and crafts things in here that I've had through the years. I wrote another box of wax in that freaking priority mailbox. You know, a good tip is if you don't have, if you don't want to go out and buy storage bins, you just get some priority mailboxes and, you know, make them work. You can totally do it. And then down here, I have some witch baby stuff, some lush bath bombs. Let me see if I can get you down closer. Okay, so there's like all of our diplomas and stuff over there on the back. And then in this area, you see that random bag here? That is all my empties for the year. I'm gonna do like Hannah to Kim does. Well, I, I did this last year too, but I always like to give her credit because she kind of started it. But the yearly, the end of year, like what I melted and go over like a review. I really like those videos, so. All right, random containers. <laughs> All right, so in there is all of my Walmart wax. I just kind of chucked it in there. It's falling out, so I obviously need a bigger bin. That was dumb. I thought it would fit, and it does not. So that is Rose Girls chunks and a bag. I need to find a better way to store that because I don't really love that system. I do have some bins I think I'm going to... I, I'm going to do a whole overhaul is basically what I'm getting at. It's going to be an entire overhaul of everything. Some more chunk muffins. Okay, and then down here is more Rose Girls. It's some of the mini melters, the special mini melters, and more chunk muffins, but again, I will go through scents when I get it all organized. So, oh, okay, <laughs> real quick. So this is my other five drawer system that I have. So these smaller drawers are nice for like scent shots, so I have all my sugar and spice in here. I'd like to get these like organized in some sort of fashion. Um, I feel like color coded would be cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So again, I have more Rose Girls. I have some chunks and some mini melters and some like limited edition mini melters in here. So down here is just a whole bunch of randomness. I have some VCS bags, which again, I can put on those shelves, which I need to do. 
And then I have a Super Pan from Super Tarts. Let's see. I have some more VCS loaves. I have some random shapes. So down here is more VCS shapes again and some of the four pack coins. Again, I'm sure I have a better method of doing this. I just, yeah, I just need to figure it out. I, I, I'm not organized like at all, at all. Okay, and so down here is my mini melters. These are basically just like the plain set mini melters. I don't have them separated by any sort of manner. I probably could, I should find another method for storing those, I don't know. I need to go through and figure out like which ones are the older ones so I can kind of get through them maybe. And also the other thing is a lot of my mini melters are in other boxes. Like the boxes I showed you that are just kind of random. Well, those are, have a lot of like mini melters in them. So I need to get them back all together because it's really difficult trying to go through these boxes. When I pull my melting basket, I pull way too much. So by the end of the month, I'm like, oh crap. And then I never end up putting them away. Just laziness, really. I'm, you know, busy doing other things. So there's that. And if we come back up for just a minute. So I have a lush tin and I don't know what's in there, to be honest. I have plastic bags, like the polypropylene bags I keep up here. They're not organized. They're just kind of sitting there. <laughs> and then over here, I have padded flat rate envelopes here. Let me just try to lift you up. So... Those I just keep on hand in case I need to de-stash or whatever. So yet again on the desk here, we have more. I, in that pink bin back there, I have Scentsy stuff that I never put away. And then I have these little bins that I just kind of, <laughs> I just opened and I just threw stuff in. So, and then if you come over here, I have one of the sweet little baskets that Ramona sent me. Hopefully that's not showing my address. And then the boxes, again, like you see that bottom priority mailbox, I did was trying to use that for like some random things I had that I needed to use up. I just had little leftovers here and there. So I'm gonna try to fix that. Up on top is a Woofwix haul. So I'm gonna try to put that away. And the gold baskets that Ramona sent me, I'm gonna find something to do. Like I like using one of them for a, like my melting basket, but that one's out in the kitchen. This one is just kind of like, I'm gonna use it for something, but I don't know what yet. Probably just a smaller vendor that I have a little bit of. I'll put that in there or maybe use it for empties. I haven't quite decided yet. And there's another pink bin back there with a lot of stuff in it. Let me see if I can kind of bring you around a little bit. So yeah, so that pink bin there, I think you can kind of see there's a bunch of, like you can see the purge that's got all wax empties and some that I need to put away. Okay. So that's pretty much gonna be it. Uh, like I said, I know you guys voted, like I did an Instagram story and you guys, like we kind of asked, did you wanna see actual scents, individual scents or an overview? I'm just gonna give you the overview because it's such a mess in here that honestly, I'd rather have it organized and then go through scents that way. So that way it's easier for me because everything right now is just kind of all over the place. So that's that. So I will come back. Hopefully I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this is going to be my weekend project and I can get things sorted because this is like really starting to like starting to kind of weigh down on me a little bit. And it's really frustrating to come in here and try to organize wax because I, or try to find wax because I don't know where all of it is. So yeah. So over in here, I just have a few like things, Bath and Body Works, some uh, dry erase board markers. And then up here I have Bathing Garden, which I need to move over into its proper place because this isn't where it's gonna live. It's too much sunshine over here. And then, sorry, I am like hitting all kinds of things here. <laughs> this here is, this box here is K. I need to put that away somewhere. And then I have a box for like labeling that I keep, but it's not uh, organized at all. Okay, so that is it, you guys. <laughs> that is my kind of tour. I'm gonna do a better one when I'm organized, but honestly, I am not right now. So yeah, uh, that's a good time. So thanks, Angie, for making me show this. <laughs> but you know what? I think we all kind of have a room like this where we just kind of shove things into. The rest of our house looks great and then we get into one room and we're like holy crap 
but a lot of this is just boxes and it needs to like so it looks like a lot but really it's just tissue paper and I need to break down the boxes and recycle them and whatnot so all right I will see you guys hopefully in the after soon hopefully it doesn't take me forever and a day to do this I'm hoping but I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching okay bye guys